See, this, this is just not just a market, market, market. This is about our Goan land, our agricultural lands which are getting destroyed very rapidly. If you go to any, any village, you see so much of destruction. Somebody is building bungalow in the fields, somebody is putting a factory or somebody putting washing, uh, you know, center. So, so there is so much destruction. It pains me to see. And I said, as a citizen, as a resident of Goa, being a Goan, if I remain silent, then I am part of this destruction. So we started a movement to save Goa and our agricultural lands, our environment, and we started a group called Goa Green Brigade, which is fighting now in Goa to save the trees, our mountains, our hills, our, uh, our wildlife, our you know entire flora and fauna, including mangroves and other other, other areas. So what we did is, you know, we started networking with farmers, asking them to give up uh, their pesticides, their weedicides, and their uh, chemical fertilizers, and requested them to please get into this organic movement, get into this movement where to revive our fields. Because if you see now, with so many goans migrating abroad, the fields are fallow, government is acquiring, our age-old institution, Kumundar, is getting destroyed rapidly. There is uh, so much of destruction. So we, we said, we have to save our lands. I filed even a PIL in the High Court, which will come again in uh, next week, to save the lands. So we have taken three villages. One is Giri, Sangolda and Sukur, to protect these, these three, start with three villages. And we got a favorable order from the High Court, Honorable High Court. Okay, that's one part of it. The other is, what do we do? The farmer said, okay, we produce organic food. What do you do? We help them market their produce. So we have cajun nuts here. We have even seeds here. We even provide them with organic manure. We have a variety of items here, if you see. So the farmers are today in a, in a position to sell the produce. Because we, we, we network with them. We help them to sell the produce. Cajun nuts, we have, we have uh, brown rice. We have alsande. We have uh, black-eyed beans. We got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. It cannot happen, you know, day one. You know, it takes uh, agriculture has a lot of gestation time. So if you plant a mango tree, it will not give you fruit in one year. It will take three, four, five years. So we need to see the long-term benefit, not to go for short term. So first thing is, we need to save our land. Please don't allow the Delhi builders, the Bombay builders, whoever builder, even a Goan builder to build and destroy the fields. Because you know what happened during COVID? The people were begging for food. They are scavenging for food. Even they get a biscuit or chocolate, they will go and rush in the shop and buy that. So that's why we started a movement called, we ran a campaign, grow your own food. And here we have over 60 varieties, which we provide just for 20 and 30 rupees a tiny packet. These are the packets we give. These are small tiny packets, but you can do back. This is not for commercial farming, but this is your backyard farming. You can grow in your backyard, you can grow in your pots, you can grow on your terrace. Grow your own food. And that is the most healthiest food because it is not sprayed with pesticides. Most of the vegetables and fruits coming from Belgaum, they are heavily sprayed. Even from Himachal and Kashmir, the apples are being heavily sprayed with chemicals. So this movement has caught on. People have realized that they want, so many people came today to buy the seeds. Because they, they grow, they, 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 it's nothing like growing your own food and eating your own food. So cases, uh, especially in, in India. Absolutely, forget, they live less in India. India is another factor. But what Goa? You go to the Goa, uh, Manipal Cancer Hospital, it is filled. Because earlier people were not uh, having this, never heard of cancer. Now you find so many new diseases people are suffering because they are not living healthy food. You know, I have uh, uh, some customers who regularly come to me who say, I want organic this, I want organic this. I just ask them one day, why are you willing to pay even a premium and buy this? Whereas you can get cheaper in the market. They said it's better to spend 10, 10 rupees extra than spending 40, 50 lakhs for cancer. Very sensible. But what is happening is many goans are getting short-sighted. They are looking at the short term. They are not looking at long term health benefits. That we need to change. Even I request the government of Goa with the coming the new agriculture policy. Please give up chemical fertilizers. Please give up these pesticides and weedicides which are poisoning not only our body, our earth and even the groundwater. I think uh, Salset is very strong. People are very united, they are very vocal and they, they, are, they are not silent unlike in the north. 
that uh, the silence is very deafening. So I felt we must do something in the north. So we have taken a, I've just started with three villages. I will definitely go to other villages. And I request my Goan brothers and sisters, please contact me. I'm ready to help you. If you find any field being destroyed, I've got a high court order that you cannot destroy fields. 